Welcome Capricorn. We are going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using Soul Truth Self-Awareness card deck and also Oracle of the Seven Energies and Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, so we're starting with Soul Truth here. Capricorn. Three cards for Capricorn, please. One more card. One more card for Capricorn. I can feel it's almost there. Which card will it be, Capricorn? Here it is. Okay. So let's have a look here. So the first card here was, or is, sorry. What if it was easy? Okay, we also have, when was the last time I danced? freely and what can I do to make a difference okay so Capricorn this card here what if it was easy it doesn't have to be hard call in the universe the stars the angels and all their powers find the solution would you take care oh sorry would you take the next step if it were easy it's time to expect ease, call in grace, and receive guidance. You are supported. Today's soul action list 10 possible ideals for your soul's current calling. Learn, oh, sorry, lean into ease. It's here. You just have to say yes to it. Very good. What if it was easy? That's just it, I suppose, right? Like, really looking at that and going, is, is the obstacle, or what, what is perceived as obstacles for us, are they actually there? Or are they there because we believe they are? They're not actually stopping us, us we just think they are, right? Three cards for what if it was easy for Capricorn, please. Three cards. It doesn't have to be hard. So I guess it's looking at how is it possible that you might be making it hard. Is it the way you're viewing things, right? One, two, one more card for Capricorn. Okay, oh. oh. will it stay? Uh, almost balancing those cards like a trapeze artist okay so seeing beyond seeing beyond yeah seeing beyond the possibilities right look at this there's a star in her eye here right and I actually feel like this is about you seeing with your third eye from a different perspective rising above the situation and really seeing it from another point of view that is very important. If it was someone coming to you, a friend um, coming to you with the same situation, what would you tell them? What would you advise them? How would you see it then? Take yourself out of it and try and see it from an objective perspective, right? So two cards for seeing beyond, please. Okay, so there's some healing that needs to be done which is going to um, cause you to be able to transform whatever it is that appears not to be easy. Okay, it's not feeling like it's easy because what is actually getting in the way is old stuff that happened once upon a time. Beyond the ordinary. Yeah, looking... This is, this is this different perspective again, seeing beyond the ordinary. But here's the star again. There's a star now in the heart. So is it the heart that needs to be opened up? Is that what the healing needs to happen? Here, Capricorn. It's the healing that needs to happen. I don't like how that came out. 
kind of making me feel like um, there's this wish for you. It's kind of like wishing upon the star and you want maybe love to come in or this, the anything, you know, that you're wishing for to happen, right? But because the heart's not open, you're not actually able to receive it, even if it did come. It's not going to last. Yes. See? Look at this receptivity, right? It's been open to the receptivity of whatever it is that you actually want to come. Okay, so this is about you. This is reminds me of when was the last time I danced freely, right? Letting go. Letting go. Having fun. Doing things that you wouldn't normally do. Going out into the rain and dancing in the puddles. Jumping in the puddles. And, you know, splashing about. Having some fun. Yeah? And we've got let it go here. This is undoing the heart. So that the heart can be opened up to dance freely. This is about this dance of your life. Right? Let it go. Let it go, Capricorn. Tell me more about Okay. Yeah, look at this. This is perfect. Letting go of the burden. You know, just like the fruit tree drops the um drops the fruit when it's ripe and ready to be eaten. There's something that you're holding on to which is done and dusted. No longer there for you. And yet you're holding on to it. Why? You need to ask yourself why. What is it about you? Is it actually, okay, so for example, Capricorn, if this is a past relationship that's finished and um, there's no chance of it ever being, um, you know, that, that fire being reignited, why are you holding on to it? Is it actually because you're not giving yourself the love that you crave from someone else? Is that why? Is it that? All the relationships that you're having aren't working out because it's not actually about you being able to receive it from someone else. It's about you being receptive of it from yourself. Maybe searching outside of yourself for everything that you're craving for and yearning for and not actually doing the internal work and giving it to yourself. Is this a possibility? You know, is it could that be the case in work? Could it be the case in friendships? You know, always looking outside of yourself and never actually going within and doing the work that needs to be done. Okay, so when was the last time I danced freely? Dance. Because it will shift you into a beautiful state because it will get you out of your head and into your body and heart because fear lives in the head along with anxiety, control, guilt, frustration and impatience. In just a few minutes of dancing, you will make the shift. You will feel a change, oh sorry, a charge of joy and confidence take over and you will feel a soul reminder to live and lead from your heart. Dancing is a tool to ground us in the now. It triggers happiness and it is the gateway to freedom. To become free dance. Yeah, that's so cool. What a great thing. This is something everyone should do, right? Okay, so today's soul action. And even though it's like it says today's soul action, just if, you know, like do it every day. Okay, do it every day, not just today. And if you forget, come back and listen to it so you are reminded what to do. Okay, so today's soul action, dance for three minutes to your favorite song. Notice the inward fire grow within and the feeling you feel being you. You are a wild, loving force. Express it with dance today. And I want to say here that if that song for some reason makes you cry, let it flow. Like, actually, let it flow and let it go, right? Because that's going to be healing as well. Okay, so dance. Tell me more about this for Capricorn, please. Tell me more about this. You know, and this is going to shift that perspective as well, like we were talking about before, right? On the floor, 
on the floor, Capricorn. I could almost turn that into a song that you could dance to, right? One, two, three, four, get up on the floor, Capricorn. Um, okay, oh, <laughs> don't worry about that. Anyway, the storyteller, the storyteller, the storyteller. This is about you writing your new chapter. Yeah, it's a new chapter. It's unlocking this, this storyteller within you. Yeah. In the sense of, so this is why it's important for you to shift, to shift your energy, okay, so that you can actually unlock this within you. Because there is a story to be told. This is the story of your life. And it's about to be created. There's a whole new chapter here waiting for you to write. Yeah. So what is it going to say? Is it going to say the same old stuff that all the other chapters have, have? Or is it going to say something different? What do you want it to say? What do you want that to look like? Is it going to start with, and they danced and danced and danced. You know, danced in the rain, splashed in the puddles, healed the soul, healed the heart, and learned to love again. Like, what is it going to say? I don't know. It is up to you, right? It's up to you. Creativity at the bottom of the deck here. Get creative with it. What do you want it to look like? How do you want to create that? Because there's a whole new chapter here waiting to be crea created by you. So get creative. Okay, so two cards for Storyteller, for Capricorn, please. Thanks for landing on the table, by the way playfulness and breakthrough yeah yeah this is really there is a big need for you to shift your energy here some of you are just staying stuck in it and it's not not good not good at all okay um you know get out and have some fun right see the magic in the world see the magic in your life every step you take right i also feel like actually this is about you being present as well so that every Every step that you take, you're very aware of feeling your feet on the ground, of the movement of your leg, of the breath in your body. Being in the now, being present, being honest with yourself is another thing as well, okay, but this is going to lead to a breakthrough. If you can do this consciously, and have a lot of awareness about you as you do this, it's going to lead to a breakthrough. The other thing with the storyteller is I just want to say that it's not, um, no, sorry, let's start again there. It could be helpful for you to start journaling your emotions, start journaling what's coming up, okay? So you can look back and see how far you've come. All right, if you're not already doing that. Okay, the land between, this is you in between this this old um, paradigm of your life and the new one. You're on the land in between. And it's kind of like, just kind of like hanging there. Like, okay, I'm going to walk over at some point when I feel ready. Just don't stay there too long. Because this is only ever meant temporarily. And some of you are hanging here because you're waiting to go back. But why would you want to go back? Why? You've done that. You've written that chapter. It's done. You're on to a new chapter now. Start writing this new chapter. Walk forward. Walk forward. Two cards for the land between, please. Wow. Cool. Yeah. We've got harmony here and we've got completion. I love this. I love this, and both are focusing here on the third eye, right? Just like this, this is about you seeing, using your all-seeing eye, using your, your third eye, allowing that, dropping everything from your mind into your heart here, but allowing the two to connect so that you can create this harmony within you, completing this chapter of your life. Putting the piece of the puzzle in because you're holding on to the piece of the puzzle. Why? This is the thing, right? This is the healing that needs to be done. Why? 
Okay, it's something you really need to ask yourself. Because ultimately this is what you want. And you want it in that chapter, but the chapter's already closed. So how are you ever meant to receive it when you're not moving forward into a new chapter? How will you write that when that chapter's already written and closed? It can't change now. It's in writing. Quieting the mind. Quieting the mind. Going into meditation and allowing this to actually settle. There's some overthinking going on here and it's this internal battle that you're having and it's important for you to center yourself in order for you to calm your mind and therefore calm your heart and let the healing take place. New vision. Yeah, there's this new vision. It, you know, this is about this new vision coming through, right? Because I don't know if you can see it here. There's the silhouette of a person here, um, down here. And this, this one here is rising up from that. Okay, this is what happens when we stay locked into this old pattern. This is, this is staying in this old chapter, right? Wanting to go back to the old um, place that you were. It's done. It's time to rise up and do something new. Okay, there's this comparison card as well. And I have a feeling that this is talking to you about this self-love and the comparison that you do to others. Of yourself. If there's if there's a, if there's a way that you see others, and you would like to be that way. Okay, there's a couple of things coming through here. Firstly, what's wrong with you being you? Because why would you be want to be like anyone else, right? Those people already like them. You don't need another them in the world. You need someone like you. So celebrating that, honouring that, and being that. If there's things you want to change about yourself, whether it's in your job, whether it's um, habits that you want to change, whether you want to change your eating patterns, whether you want to start exercising, you know, whether you want to start taking care, better care of yourself, Definitely loving yourself, right? Those are the sorts of things that you can focus on. So what do you want to change about you that you don't like? Why you are comparing yourself to others, look at why you are doing that. Okay, why? Again with this why. Why are you doing that? And what is it about you that you wish was different? That you could potentially, you have the control to change. And if there's something that you can't change, maybe this is something that you need to look at and go, you know, it could be, for example, the colour of your eyes, right? Just as an example. You can't change that. No? I mean, you could get coloured lenses, but let's just say they don't exist. Okay, for argument's sakes. So, so you know, it could be a matter of learning to love that part of yourself anyway, regardless. You know, what can I do to make a difference? What keeps you up at night? What makes you cringe when you think about it such that every ounce of you screams no more? Where can you create purpose out of your pain? Today's soul action, make a difference in someone's life today, big or small, because all of it makes a difference. This is you beating yourself up. And I get it, Capricorn. I do it too. You know? And I think it's really important for us to have a good laugh at ourselves and go, oh, Cool, Lummy. Why, 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 why did I do that? But oh well, I can't change it. I've got to love myself anyway. 
And, you know, sometimes going and making a difference in someone else's life just for the sake of it, for those people, not for yourself and what you can get out of it, that's that's not that's not doing it for anything other than, you know, for you. <clears throat> and the gratification isn't there. The same as what you do it just out of the goodness of your heart. You know, and if you have a good heart, which I, I think you do, it is a heart that needs to be healed. <clears throat> you know, maybe that will help heal your heart. Maybe you'll be able to see that, oh my gosh, I did a really lovely thing for someone today. That was really nice. That made their day. It made them happy. It makes me happy that they're happy. You know, because, you know, maybe you need to do something nice for yourself. Okay, so three cards for, what is it? What can I do to make a difference? And this is it. You know, when you look at the, the comparison, when you do something to make a difference, you realize your importance in the world. It's gone way, way, way over there. Okay, so let me pick these two cards up. Okay, Capricorn. We have first card out here. It is what it is. It is what it is. There's some things you just can't change, right? And um, and it's time to leave it behind, to let it go and go forward. Because it is what it is. Nothing, you can't do anything about that. It's time to move forward now. Okay, so yeah. One more card for it. It is what it is. Yeah. Clinging to the past here, yeah. putting the box over your head like it's all fine and dandy don't worry about it you're worried about it it's getting to you and you're pretending not to be you're trying to make out it's all okay and it's not it's totally not to be honest with yourself just be honest about that let's go do you know what that sucks it really sucks but i need to move forward for me because holding on to stuff is not helping anyone it will definitely not yourself. No one else has been affected by it but you. Okay? Hanging in the balance, the schizophrenia here, back and forth, back and forth, in between two minds. Not making a decision, not moving forward, just hanging. Right? Staying on this land here, the land between. Not actually moving. It's time to move. It is time to move. The roses kiss. The roses kiss. This is it, right? This this has come up for quite a few um, signs. And this is the first time I kind of got it in this form. The roses kiss hurts because it's the thorns that are the kiss. As it grows. And that's kind of like what life is like, right? It's this beautiful masterpiece. But there's some thorns that hurt, really hurt, and yet we, we bask in the beauty and the, 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 the scent of the rose, right, just like this, right, turning in, there's two sides to everything, right, turning in, quietening the mind for a start and allowing everything to settle, okay, and it's going to make things a lot clearer for you. Anyone who has had, um, who has deceived you or you felt deceived by may not have been on purpose, may have been, you know, that is going to help settle that for you because you, it's sort of like going over and over and over in your mind and it doesn't actually solve anything. So it's important just to leave it there, leave it in that chapter and start writing the new chapter. Don't bring it into the new chapter. It doesn't belong there. Okay. We have the Oracle's Gift. This is this cup that is granted to you. Right? In your life, this cup that can be filled. And it's up to you to fill it with whatever you want to fill it with. It's up to you to create that. Just like this chapter. It's a brand new opportunity. Okay. Yes. 
yeah yeah stepping into this energy right of being able to actually transform your life and create whatever it is that you want to create to be able to share this with someone else the world your family whoever right to be able to share this creating what it is that you want to create we have on the other flip side of the coin here this fighting so you look at these two cards here right this one and this one now if you were to put that into the cup what's going to come out of it but if you were to put this into the cup what do you suppose will come out of it, right? What do you suppose it will be filled with? Okay. This is also this battle within you. The need to wear the armour, which is not serving you. It's time to let that go. Do the healing that you need to do in order to move forward into this new chapter in your life. Okay, because it is... It can be as good as you make it. It is entirely up to you, Capricorn. Okay, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.